So generally our gear's been holding up really well. We had to do a couple of running repairs. Just had a um, kicker skin blow out. Uh, we've taped it up with some Cuban fibre tape, hoping it's going to last at least to get us to Hotham, but uh, not fully confident about that. So we're just on Mount Sunday, about to head down to Low Saddle. It's a 500 metre descent and then followed by a long climb up Mount McDonald, in fact a 700 metre ascent. This paper has been invaluable, it's a waterproof paper, so we've actually got uh, the maps on here and the track notes, and you can fold it up and fit in the pocket really easily. Actually, uh, descending down off Mount Sunday hasn't been too bad. Surprisingly pleasant. I may have just sent that this descent wasn't too bad. Change my mind. Unbelievable. It's day seven and coming across, heading up Mac McDonald at the moment and on the ground, see what I think is rubbish but uh, then I see, attention, Mark Oates Ryan Jaffe so um, from packcraftaustralia.com.au been through here recently just after we started actually don't know how but he's left this here for us and he's left a great message on the top that is awesome We're just climbing up this beautiful long rocky ridge towards the summit of Mount McDonald um, we're trying to get as high as we can tonight. It's actually gale force winds predicted, but we're just loving this beautiful evening light and um, the track has not got any uh, trees down on it. It's just fantastic. It's just like, feels, yeah, feels like heaven. So it's amazing to think that 30 years ago when we first walked the Alpine track, um, we had carried a little AM FM transistor radio so we could get updates on weather and bushfires and total fire bans. This time, it's amazing, we've got internet on our phones um, most of the time, or half the time, um, and tonight it's predicted Gulf Force winds, so we've set up in anticipation to see what happens.